Hello, and welcome back to How to Make Video Games in Bitsy. Uh, my name is John Brown, um, and you have now reached episode number six. Uh, today we're going to learn about how to create items in Bitsy, um, which are uh, cool things that you can include in your game in each level, and you can do them multiple times, and so we're going we're gonna to figure out how to, do, uh, how to do all that. Place them. Um, they're very similar to, uh, to what we've been doing with, um, with our character um, and our sprites. They're a little bit similar, but they're, uh, but they're a little bit different. So we're going to learn about that. And then um, uh, after that, we'll talk about dialogue. I think our next episode is going to be about adding dialogue. So um, please join me. I uh, hope you're having fun with this. Hope you're, you're doing uh, fantastic work. And uh, let's get to it. Bye. Woohoo! Here we go. Um, this is John's cool game, the same thing we had last time. I've got my same four windows up here. I've got the room, I've got fine drawing, I've got paint, and I've got colors. And you can see that they're all highlighted here up at the top. These are the four uh, windows we're going to use today. We used those last week. We'll get to um, dialogue, possibly with the next one, and then inventory and downloading and all that. We'll get to that later as well. So, um, so this is what you should have open. Um, we have done Avatar. We did our little uh, our little character hop in here so that our character can move around. We've done the tiles, and this is all around here, and the tiles, just as kind of a little bit of a review, the tiles are uh, walls, so we can't get through them. Um, and then Sprite, we've got two sprites. We've got the kitty cat, meow meow, and the snake. Um, and today we're gonna try and work on items. So you'll see right here, I've got two items, and this is what uh, the program gives you when you first open it up. There's a teacup and a key. So if I click on that teacup, right, and then I click on my room, you'll see it inserts that teacup in there. If I click on the key, it inserts that key in there, right? So if I go over here and I hit play, it says John's Cool Game, that's my intro. If I hit my arrow keys and I go up, boom, You'll see when I hit that teacup, it says you found a nice warm cup of tea. Nice warm cup of tea. Um, and then you go down to the key, and the key says a key. What does it open? So you can see that after I've done that, those disappear. So with items, those things disappear after you hit them. Um, and if I want to get rid of them, I can just click on that and click on that. Another thing about this is that you can do multiple keys. Oh, look at that. You can do as many keys as you want. So the way to create an item is exactly the same as creating a sprite or an avatar. I'll hit plus and you'll see I get a blank little screen here. So I am going to click, 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 click. Okay. So I am going to do a little skull thing here, right? So you see that's my first one. If I go down to animation, and you don't need to do animation, they can just be still. They don't need to actually move. I'm, I, you know, I traditionally do a bunch of animation, so I like stuff that moves around. So that's pretty cool. This one's just gonna be, his little mouth is gonna be going up and down, right? So you can see now that he's got animation associated with him, and he's just hanging out there. And then if I click here, there he is. He's got burp, 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 and he's moving his mouth up and down. So the thing about items is they disappear when you walk through them. You can also do as many as you want. So if I click on all these, maybe he's got a row of skulls. Boom, he's got two rows of skulls. He's got tons of skulls. So you can place those wherever you want and use however many of them you want, right? You can line up the side here. Um, well, you know what I mean, right? So then when you hit play, it's John's cool game. You can go up here and munch up all these little items if you want, right? So you could make these little items if you, if you guys have ever played Pac-Man or if you've ever played one of those old school games where your character has to go and kind of collect all these things, you could make it part of your game that your character would need to grab all those things and erase all those before they go on to a different level. So so that's it. That's uh, that's items. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are, are doing wonderful things and creating 
avatars and you're creating sprites and now and tiles and creating your rooms right and then the last thing on this is items so at the end of this one you should know how to do all four of these things and create wonderful and cool games all right so here's something you guys can do this week um, what I did is I went to Google and you can see I did Google search here and I searched for pixel art that's what we've been doing in uh, in the game is creating art out of pixels little bitty squares right so if you Google image search pixel art which is P I X E L art you can get tons of different examples of, of other artists who've created pixel art. These are a little bit more complex than the stuff we're doing, but you can see the cool stuff people create using all these squares that we've been using. Um, the game that we're using is kind of a simple game, but there are other programs that, that have more pixels. So this is just kind of a starting point. You can see all the cool stuff you might be able to do at some point using nothing but pixel art. So I went into Google and I did that. I also went to a site called Pinterest. Um, if you've never been on Pinterest, it's a really cool site for uh, for artists. It's P-I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T dot com. And it has artists all over the world posting really cool stuff. And you can see I just put in 8-bit pixel art design. And I got all these really cool designs. You'll get kind of wonky advertisements like this as well. And you're probably going to want your parent involved and to, to see what, it, what you can Put in and what you can't put in um, but you can see they've got some really cool designs for characters again these are a little bit more complex but um, this is kind of what we're doing is the starting point for this kind of stuff and you guys have all probably played or seen like Super Mario and stuff like that those are all pixel art games just like what we're creating so um, think about it maybe you could do a little Google search on pixel art to try and come up with some cool ideas and do a little of what we call in the business research so you research and find out what other cool artists all over the world are doing and then that hopefully uh, gives you ideas about what you uh, what you can do for your own art all right, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to, uh, to like the uh, AWE page. Uh, check out all the videos. This, like I said, this was the sixth video. Um, please watch the first five so you can learn about uh, how to create a game from, uh, from start to finish. Uh, next week, um, I'm going to be going into dialogue and how to add uh, words and all that kind of stuff. So when you encounter different things, when you encounter items and sprites and all that kind of stuff, um, you should be able to uh, uh, have some dialogue and some interaction between those things. So that's going to be a really fun one. So, so please join me next week. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for, for watching. Uh, like the page and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, hope you guys are having fun with this. And um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing what you guys have. So um, we'll see you next time. Bye.